Hey YouTube. All right. Um, I just got uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, Elements Seven and Adobe Premiere Elements Seven uh, together in a pack. Um, bought it yesterday. Um, but I wanted to know how to do this effect. Uh, where it's gray in the back and you only have a few things colored or anything like that and um, so I decided to make a tutorial because I found a tutorial but it's all written out and I couldn't do that so I think other people are kinda like me in that way where they need visual so I'm decided to make one and then after I'm done I'll see if I'm gonna see if I could put a link if he could put a link to my video on here just like my how to download HD videos from YouTube, the blog, the guy with the blog, he did that too. So I'm gonna do a tutorial, and I'm gonna link this uh, tutorial to my video, uh, so you can read it out if you want. Okay, so there are nine steps. Okay, step two, and I'm gonna use this photo today for the tutorial. Okay, I already have it up here. And if you want to try this photo out too, just click that link. And you can save, right click, save image if you want. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, just I'll link this, um, the first step, the page for the first step to my video and in info, which will be on the right side. So. Let's just start with the uh, uh, tutorial. Okay. <coughs> oh, first, I gotta show you first. First, when you open this up, click uh, edit. You're gonna have to click a bar up here, edit. Then click file, open, and then choose your picture. I've already done a few already, um, as a test and it worked with my cousin. Really see it, but that's him. Blue jeans. The overalls. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one that I got from him. All right, first load the image, and then over here in the layers, I think it's called the layers palette. I'm new to this too, so I mean, over here in the layers palette, uh, where the image is, right above it is, should be a little circle, black and white circle. And before you click it. Make sure your two colors are white and black, and uh, you could switch them by clicking that arrow and clicking the picture, and then uh, choosing. Uh, this is already set to black, and then for white, pick your color. Just for white, just drag it to either corner. Because if you look up here, it all goes to zero if you just pick this corner or this corner. Then after you're done, just push OK and uh, make sure they're set like that now. And then click this circle and go down to gradient map. And you're going to see that it's inverted. So what you're going to do is click anywhere on here and then um, click the third one, black and white, and then click OK, then click OK. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick your brush tool over here with a gear and um, to get this hold it and then let go because if you just click you're not going to get anything if you hold it and then click detail smart brush tool or you could just right click detail smart brush tool uh, smart brush tool then uh, once you're ready just drag this little gear so it will get out of your way to a different area of the image and then you can zoom in and start working on it. So we're gonna do the apples like the kid did or the person the guy did in the written out tutorial. So pick out your tool. This one is always gonna pop up. Uh, I'm not sure how to make it not do that. But just exit it. And then see right here, you can up here, you can change the size of your tool. Okay, we're gonna start at 24. And it's this easy. Just click, and there you go. 
Um, you're gonna have to do this all the time. Now this is just for the tutorial, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. Just color the apples in. Color the apples in. You can change the size of your tool up to 2,000, which is weird, or 25,000. That'll just make everything color. But just undo that and change it back. First, what you're going to do is get a, maybe this type of brush, this size, and then and then go over the big areas, or get the biggest and start in the middle and spread out. And finally, when you get to the edges, go up here to the magnifying glass, unless you're really good at this. And if you're not, just get the magnifying glass and zoom in and finish the edges. And just click the brush again, exit change the size and then just easily get the edges and I recommend that you go over it and let go of the mouse button every once in a while just in case you mess up by getting their skin or something you don't want in then you can easily just press control press control Z because if I did this and I was almost done oh whoa and all of a sudden boop mess up and do control Z that's it. So what you're going to do is just let go of the mouse button every few times. And if you need to get a certain area, but you can't with the big brush tool, just let go of the mouse button and then click once. See, if I try to get to the edge of his arm, but it only goes up to the plus sign in the middle of the brush, just click once and there you go. Okay, so let's just see how this turned out for this little tutorial. There you go. That is how you do it. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm starting this program. This is Photoshop Elements 7, and I'm gonna start doing uh, Premiere Elements 7 later as soon as I'm done messing around with this. Um, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, and favorite.